Hello everyone, my name is Costa and today I'm gonna show you how to create this interesting looking hero section in Framer. So as you can see we have a normal container right here that has a navbar and then we also have a button right here and some social icons. And in the center we have a headline and behind this headline we have a mask but this mask is rotating and it keeps rotating forever. Now, what's more interesting than that is that when I scroll down, this mask grows up and it reveals the background image. So that's what we are going to learn today. And yeah, let's get started. So step number one, let's create a frame inside a breakpoint. Call it hero. Then go to size and change the width to fill and the height to viewport 100 vh then click on layout and remove the background color the fill and next we need to bring an image inside this hero section and we are going to use this Im image as a background so for this we can use a plugin called uh, lumi or pixels so press ctrl k and i will select pixels and all you have to do is just select one of the images and click on it and that is it but in my case, I already have an image, so I'm going to use this one, press Ctrl X and then press Ctrl V to paste it inside the hero section. Now let's change the position type to absolute and uh, click on this stop alignment icon. This looks good. Then unpin it from the bottom. It needs to be pinned only at the top. And yeah, so now it looks good. Next, we are going to do is... Um, create the mask so for this i'm gonna use figma i already created something like this but i'm gonna delete it and then select the rectangle and let's make it 1200 by 800 and now i'm gonna increase it or maybe let's create a square actually i think it's gonna be more useful so 3000 by 3000 pixels this looks good. Next, I will select again the rectangle and create a vertical rectangle like this one. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Rotate it like this and then press Ctrl D. And one more time, Ctrl D to duplicate it. And we have this shape. Now I will create also an ellipse. And let's put it in the center. Select everything. Then click on this union icon right click and then flatten and now press enter and select all these inside anchor points and uh, once you are done we can use the uh, radius increase it something like this now once again right click flatten everything so that we can keep the proportions of the radius that we just created put it inside let's change the color to something like this or actually let's change the color of the background to black and uh, yeah now i'm gonna select both of them click on this drop down icon and then select subtract but before i think we need to make this smaller actually let's make it uh, like this and now i'm gonna select both of them again and subtract then you can export it as a PNG or as a SVG. I'm going to export it as a PNG, it doesn't matter that much actually. And now I'm going to drag it inside Framer. It is huge as you can see, but it is good. So I will press Ctrl X, paste it inside the hero section. And now go to styles, click on Z index and put the Z index to one. All right and this looks fine for now now i'm gonna select the effects then click on loop and make sure you keep this 360 uh, rotate effect and then go to transition and make sure the transition is gonna be maybe 20 seconds or something like this and uh, yeah now let's check it out and voila we have a beautiful mask that it's rotating Okay, so now what I'm going to do is select both the background and the mask. And then let's press Ctrl L 
to lock them so we can't touch them anymore and uh, now i will create a new frame put it inside the hero and we are gonna call this frame uh, container as you can see it messed up a bit the hero section that is because we need to make sure that the uh, mask actually uses a position absolute instead of relative now let's center it I will select the container now and put the width and height to viewport uh, to fill. Nice. Now I will select the hero and add maybe 32 pixels padding. And yeah, now let's build the content inside the container. So I will click on layout and I'm going to select the text. Let's create a navbar first. So home, make the text white. Okay, we have to put the container on top of the other elements. So I'm gonna select styles and then Z index and then put it to Z index two. But as you can see, we have a problem. Now the container is covering the entire hero section. This is because we have a fill. We are gonna remove this fill and select again the text, duplicate it. That is gonna be, I don't know, projects. And then I will press Ctrl D once again, and it is going to be contact. And now select all three of them, press Ctrl Alt Enter to create a stack and go to distribute and make sure that it's space between. So this looks nice. Now I will call this navbar and then select the container and add a padding of, uh, I don't know, 16 pixels maybe. Um, and then go to direction and put the direction to vertical. Okay. Next, I'm gonna create a title. So the title is gonna be 365 Studio. Make it bigger. Press Ctrl X, paste it inside the container. Let's use a different font, maybe instrument serif okay and also let's use italic for now okay and then now let's build the bottom part of the uh, container where we have the button and the social media icons so for this i'm gonna create actually i'm gonna copy this button and put it inside I don't want to spend time on creating this button and uh, I will press Ctrl Alt Enter to add a stack to it and inside this stack we are going to also add a frame and then press Ctrl X and Ctrl V to paste it inside move it to the left and let's make this frame one pixel tall and then put it to fill okay select the stack and call it uh, bottom content and let's make sure we use a gap of 16 pixels nice um yeah let's also create a new frame and then add a radius of 99 and then remove the fill add a border change to white and one pixel is gonna be enough press ctrl x paste it inside the bottom content stack move it to the left like this i'm gonna duplicate this one i will press ctrl k look up for icons my favorite plugin for icons iconify and then if you click on global search you will find a lot of icons so I will look up for Instagram and we need an icon that we can change the thickness. So let's go with this one. I'm going to press Ctrl X and Ctrl V to paste it inside, select the frame, click on layout, then select the group, change the color to white. And then let's look up for YouTube. This one might be good yes uh, press ctrl x again and 
Ctrl V to paste it inside, select the second frame, click on layout, select a group and change the color to white. And now let's make sure they have the same size. I'm going to put it to 20 pixels and this I'm going to lock the size as well and 20 pixels. Okay, so it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't matter. Um, next, I'm going to select a container. Let me make it wider. And um, yeah, so let's select a container and then put the distribute to space between. And so we have a beautiful distribution of the content. Okay, so next I'm going to create a new frame, make it uh, 48 pixels big and then remove the fill, add a border and let's click on this icon and then we need a border for the top and for the right. So I'm going to remove this one and this one. Oops, uh, I'm going to remove this one and this one. So this looks good. Now change the color to white, press Ctrl X, paste it inside the container and change the position type to absolute, align to the top left like this. And uh, yeah, I think that is good enough. Now let's press Ctrl D to duplicate it, align to the right this time and let's change the border from left to right. Nice. Let's select both of them, press Ctrl D to duplicate them and then align them to the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is, I guess I'm going to rotate them actually and uh, stop playing with the border. Yeah, this looks uh, good. Actually, let's increase the, si the padding inside the container. Add a 32 padding maybe. Okay, so now we have to create a new frame. Press Ctrl X, paste it inside the breakpoint and it is going to be our scroll frame. Uh, I'm going to make it 50 VH. Then put the width to fill. And let's select the breakpoint, remove the gap. Okay, let's call it scroll frame. Next thing I'm going to do is select the uh, mask. So let's first call this a mask. I see it has a weird name, mask. Let's unlock it. And then let's go to um, effects, scroll transform, and then let's select the hero section scroll down to scroll section and name it hero then again let's select the mask go to on scroll scroll transform on scroll and then switch from on scroll to section and view and we are gonna select the hero section and then from is gonna be one for the opacity and for the scale is gonna be one as well and then two for the scale is going to be eight. Let's put it to eight. Uh, this is actually not something precise. It depends a lot of on the size of your images, on your mask, on your hero section. So I'm going to use eight for now. And let's see, nothing happens. So what we have to do, guys, now is select the hero section and put the hero section from relative to sticky. Nice. And uh, as you can see, when we preview this, uh, the mask disappears, but it is because, um, let me select the mask first. We used the wrong uh, settings for the scroll transform. Center, maybe this time works. Yes, this time works. Okay, so now let's fix the tablet. I'm gonna select this mask and align to the top like this, I guess it is too much, but we have a problem here, or maybe let's center it actually. Yeah, so if it's centered, it's gonna look good. Now let's select the mobile. And uh, again, let's select the mask and center it. I'm gonna make the text smaller. 
and uh, yeah now let's check it out and see if we have any problems okay we have some small problems right here and uh, let's see how we can fix them okay so i think we have to actually pin everything like this okay so now it works nice um uh, so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and uh, i see you next time